What's good, y'all? Um, this is a tough video. And I'm only doing this video because this is actually like my therapy session. Y'all are my family. And I tend to share things, you know, especially something this serious with y'all to let y'all know that, you know, it's not always perfect in my life, but, you know, I go through feelings, I go through emotions, I go through good and bad times as well. Um, I want to say maybe 30 minutes ago, if that, I was recording a video. And I got the unfortunate news that my grandmother on my mom's side, my last grandparent, passed away and my mom had been telling me I want to say for the past couple of days that she's not been doing well she wasn't eating um she wasn't uh, using the restroom she wasn't even really opening her eyes um so I know and kind of the family knew her condition was declining. And I went over there earlier today just to see her one more time. Because the uh doctors pretty much said she may have a she may make it through the night, she may not. So I went over there, her eyes wasn't open, and I just touched her and, and let her know, and I hope she heard me that I loved her. And I'm very thankful for her being a loving grandmother. When my mom wasn't, you know, able to be there, you know, not because she didn't want to, because my mom was a hard worker. She is a hard worker. She was working multiple jobs. And, you know, she would have me stay with my grandmother and my grandmother would make sure I was good. My mom used to tell me the story that when I was a f first newborn, something had happened and I stopped breathing. And my mom was panicking. Like I turned blue in the face. Fresh newborn, panicking. And she told me that grandma picked me up, told my mom to calm down, call 911, and made sure that you know i was good she was calm and level-headed my mom was panicking and and she knew what to do and i have other memories and i may do a video talking about that i you know i don't know but it's crazy because i you know i knew this was possibly gonna happen but at the same time it still hurts because I knew at some point she was going to give me a call saying she's gone. And when she did, it 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 still hurts. I was talking to Dub. I even chopped it up with Dub. And Dub, uh, you know, consoling me, trying to make sure I was good. And I appreciate you. I love you for that, bro. I talked to my dad. You know, I talked to someone I'm I'm interested in. And she she understood where I was coming from because she, you know, lost one of her grandparents and it really affected her. And, and I appreciate the kind words from everyone, you know, and trying to keep me in a positive mind state because losing someone you love and care about, it's it's never easy. Even when you know it, even when you know it's on the way, it's still never easy. And it's crazy. Because I'm going to show y'all this picture. This was the last picture I took with my grandmother. This was my birthday celebration. And I think, honestly, that was one of the last few times she was, like, 
actively eating. She seemed like she was having a good time. She was responsive. For my 33rd birthday, she made it all the way through that. And I'm forever thankful. I'm forever giving praise to God for allowing me to be with my grandmother one more time. And I honestly thought it was going to be tough for me to get through this vid. But I think it's therapeutic because I want to be able, like I have so much in my mind, but being able to put it in video format and being able for me to say it out loud and and let my love for this person live on through this it it helps and like i said y'all are my family too i know some people are more private but i'm more open with y'all about the good and the bad and yes this is unfortunate but she lived a long life and i'm just very thankful that i had her this long so i want to say this Cherish your loved ones. Cherish your family. We say it all the time, but cherish them. Love them. Even when you're mad. that's You're going to get mad at your family. Still love them. Because when they're gone, they're gone. So, uh, I know this is Bashing Berlin week. Uh, I don't even think I'm really going to be watching Monday Night Raw or doing anything like that. I'm about to actually go um, see my family, chill with them for a little bit. Um, I just need to, you know, kind of just decompress for a little bit. And, you know, I'll probably, you know, be back to my regular self in a few days. I know some of y'all was like, take all the time you need. And I get that. And I appreciate that. But what helps me also, and many don't know this, and if <laughs> some of y'all do, some of y'all don't, y'all help me as well. Y'all help me stay active in in my mindset. You know, I, I don't, I know, you know, dealing with loss, you can kind of, you know, just close yourself in and that's the only thing you think about. But I know for a fact that my grandma wouldn't want me to just be down and out because she lived her life. And I'm going to remember her the best way I can by being the best version of myself. She got to see me doing this. Granted, she didn't really know, but I turned out to do something positive and make something of myself. So I'm going to continue to do that. And I hope all my other grandparents are looking down above Knowing that I'm I'm doing the best I can and I'm going to continue to do the best I can for them and for myself and want to, you know, keep that, that create that, this positivity and, and create just great things for people to, you know, one day remember me by, you know, so, you know, just give me some time. It, it's It's definitely a tough one, but. You know, I, I will bounce back and I just appreciate everyone showing love and sending the condolences. Like I said, y'all are my extended family and I love y'all. We say this all the time, spread love, be love, and I mean it. I love y'all. Even though I may not agree with some of y'all, I love y'all. Y'all have changed my life and I appreciate y'all. And I love my grandmother. Rest in peace, Claudia Ross. Thank you for being the best grandparent anyone can have. I love you, and I hope to see you again one day, and I hope to continue to make you proud. So I'll see y'all on the next one, man.